So, you have no idea how to inspect items? No problem. Today, you will finally be able to have people analyze your beautiful models in game. Now, the prerequisite is an empty game object where we want our object to be analyzed from. And, of course, a model to inspect. Now, in the first script, I started off by declaring some variables. A vector free, initial position, which stores the initial position of the inspected object. A quaternion, which stores the initial rotation of the inspected object. A layer mask, which will help us inspecting objects from a custom layer, layer 8. Two more variables, move and rotate, which are the scripts responsible for player movement and rotation. The inspected object transformation. Two game objects, one stores the current inspected object, and the other a game object which has another useful script attached to it. In the end, a rigid body, in order to disable physics while inspecting, in the start method, we are searching for the specified game object. Now, the fun part, in the update method, I used ray casting to see if the player is facing and is in the proximity of an object. If he is, and he presses E, if not inspecting already, we stop all coroutines. In order to not have any glitches, then we store the new object and its rigid body component. We store the initial position and rotation, and if the rigid body isn't null, we disable it by making it a kinematic object. After that, we disable the player's movement and rotation, and we start the coroutine, which moves a game object to a desired position. This is the coroutine that helps us do that. It basically checks to see if we haven't reached the final destination. If we haven't, it moves the object towards the target every frame. After that, we set our is inspecting variable to true and we activate the item transform script from our search game object. This script takes into account our mouse movement and changes the object rotation based on it. If we are inspecting and the player presses Q, I couldn't use E again because it would bug it, we stop all coroutines, we disable any manual transformation on the object, we reset the starting rotation and we move the object to its original place. In the end, we set the is inspecting variable back to false, we enable the player's movement and rotation, and if the object has a rigid body, we enable its physics using another coroutine, which looks like this waiting for an amount of seconds, then disabling or enabling the physics. And that's it. All you need to do now is make a layer which holds the interactable items. I made mine on layer 8 as you've seen. Have fun. Bye bye.